Hey guys, it's Rocket Man Dan. Welcome to episode four. Uh, it's been a while. It's definitely been a while. I haven't played this in uh, two, three weeks on PS4. And last time I said I was going to Duna, so uh, I've, tran I've transferred. What am I on about? I have uh, fast forwarded the game to an optimal transfer window. Um, so let's plan a maneuver. Yeah, I got kind of downhearted with uh, with Kerbal on PS4 recently because I don't know if uh, any of you guys are on Reddit. But um, why wow, that's too much Delta V? Let's uh, bring that back just a little bit. Uh, but recently, uh, KSP for console announced announced something, and everybody seemed to take it as um, as that they're going to release a, a new major update uh, with, with lots of things on. Everybody was getting excited about it, uh, myself included. And then when it just didn't come out, and it was just revealed to be the uh, Oh, uh, wow, it's hard to talk, apparently. When it was just revealed to be the base game with DLCs bundled, ready for purchase, uh, it just, you know, it was, it just felt like a little bit of a cash grab and, and not looking after the, uh, after the people that had made it what it was on console. So it just kind of left me downhearted. But I've been playing it on PC and... Uh, it, it have, it's quite fun, honestly, uh, with, with the mods as well. Not that I've got anything special, just you know, some visual mods and uh, tweak scale. Just means you can change the sizes of different parts. I don't really use it for myself much. Uh, my daughter usually likes to use that for making rovers and the like, uh, but I keep it on there because it doesn't really do any harm. And I believe we've got a couple others, but I couldn't tell you what they are off the top of my head. Well, anyway, we've got our uh, burn all plan there. And I've just remembered we can't lock to maneuver yet. Jeb isn't ready for that. Have we done science here? Uh, what was it? Two. It, like I say, it has been quite a while. Uh, done that, done that, and done that. I wonder, have we done an EVA report? Let's uh, get this engineer out because I'd uh, kind of forgotten uh, everything about this mission. Honestly, uh, just before I recorded this, I had to watch like the last—I don't know—last uh, ten minutes of the last episode I made because I just had no idea. Oh, over the deserts. Well, it's a little bit cheaty, but we'll accept it for this time. Uh, so we're locked. Pro grade. We shall. Uh, is it three? Was it three? To save the data, yeah. Um, and we've got four of these. It's like I'm just coming in it, coming in at it from uh, somebody else's save. Honestly, it's it's been a while. So I'll use a stage which has got two thousand meters a second in. Uh, break off. We've got a terrier. We'll break off one of these in solar orbit. Another one in solar orbit. Mm. I could just leave them on until we get to Duna and then just uh, so so we don't leave a lot of space junk about. That could always. Oh, and they've all got mystery goos on. Um, how long till that burn time? One minute. To, <laughs> sorry for a second. I thought it's three minutes twelve. I was like, what? How can that be? We've got like a decent for us to wait. Uh, let's just fast forward just a bit. We can't fast forward too fast. What's that? Uh, 35, 36 seconds before the node. We need to... Oh, come on. Cancel, please. There we go. About now, we need to start burning, please. And burn. Wow. Yeah, that was a bit tense. Something went a little bit wrong there. I've also decided that... Um, if... If I make a mistake, that's on me. I shouldn't revert. But if the game glitches out and it's the game's fault, why something went wrong, you know, uh, if the Perry happens to just dip out, you know, quite away, 
then I think that's understandable. But if I'm coming into Duna and, you know, I have to crash land, tip over, whatever, I'm just going to roll with it and see what I can do. You know, maybe attempt a rescue mission then. Because I haven't really got this planned out as such. Uh, you, you know, it's not like I'm saying, right, well, it's Duna this week and then, you know, oh, we're definitely off here the week after. I'll just, you know, I want to just see what happens. And it would be nice not having to know what's, what needs to happen. And just play it by ear, so to speak. Uh, and now I'm probably going to get a little bit quiet as I come to the last few meters per second of this burn. So I'm just going to get to about here and then go into the map screen, zoom in on Duna and just see what a little bit of prograde can do. doesn't need to be perfect, just any kind of... Oh! Haha! <laughs> any kind of Duna intercept is always nice. But I've just remembered we need science from around the sun, far away from Duna, close to Duna and on Duna. So that shouldn't be too hard. Let me just try and uh, get this a little bit better. There we go. Okay, see, that's the point where I'm going to save. Because now if I fast forward and it says I haven't got a intercept anymore, that's not my fault. And I don't mind, um, you know, reloading from there. I'm just going to add a maneuver in uh, about midway point in between. Doing is usually quite easy to get to, as a lot of you will know by now. Uh... So, just going to give it a little bit of normal. Oh, got a little bit of an Ike encounter there. But I think once we add a bit of prograde, that should go away. Let's just zoom in and cycle through. Wrong cycle. Doesn't matter. Oh, a bit too far. Wow. If this takes much longer, I will fast forward. But I'm just trying to add the right amount. We've got plenty of Delta V in this stage though, so we could always just get close and then burn radial in. But I'd rather not if I don't have to. Now I'm on the normal, anti-normal one. Just tiny amounts. It'd be better if there was a precision way to do this. I, th I thought that's what the manoeuvre mode was going to give us, honestly. Uh, I mean, I know you can technically type in what you want but eh, you know you've got to type it in it's trial and error really so let's just give it a tiny bit more that's about the amount we're looking at maybe a little bit too much there but I haven't got to follow the maneuver down to a T because I won't be able to I can't lock the maneuver oh that's too far I say let's come on just gently there we go I mean it's super light touches you guys will know this if you're playing it. Uh, I don't know how it is with an Xbox One controller. I've got an Xbox One controller. But obviously it won't work with the PlayStation. Uh, I mainly use it on PC. But I don't know if the analog sticks will be more sensitive. Or less prone to jump. But that looks perfect. I don't even know what the Perry is. 94. Yeah, that would be great if we could get that. Uh, so I'm going to F5 that again, go out of the map screen. Uh, hmm, what shall we do now? Let's just zoom out a little bit. And I'm going to start the fast forward off. I'm using the keyboard, by the way, just to make my life easier. I suggest if you got access to a little USB keyboard, mine's a wireless one. But I mean, it was like, you know, cheapest of the cheap, but... I think it would cost something like a tenner, you know, ten pounds. It was, you know, nothing to write home about, but it does its job. So now I've pressed warp to next maneuver. Hopefully, yeah, I think we've still got an encounter. Uh, let's have a see. Yeah, we've still got an encounter. But before I do this, oh, it's only 0 0.5 second burn. I best turn that engine down as well. I'm just going to zip that forward for you. There we go. 
just what you want to see. Uh, we don't want to be locked to prograde. What we do want now is to press 2. And we want to do these science reports. Uh, whilst we're at it, we shall also turn this engine down quite a bit. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And we should also do some of these science reports. So we shall observe the materials bay. Which nets us n a nice bit of science, really. 50 science. And we'll do the same with the uh, mystery goo. And we'll get Bill here, our little engineer. We shall EVA him. And uh, see what his report says. I mean, I'm not going to read it, so, you know, we'll have to imagine what it says. Okay, then I'll read it. You feel kind of small right now. You hope you know where you're going. Well, don't we all? Uh, so, board, um, what now? Take all the science. There we go. What, that's a bad camera angle, Dan. Um, let's roll the ship on round to the maneuver. And come on, stay there. We've got decent maneuverability. But we're going to go into the map screen to do this. Just go full throttle to start off with because we're turned so low down. I don't even know what thrust we're giving out at the minute. Will it say? No. It won't say because I haven't opened the map thing. Can I not do it from here? No. Let's. Um, Try and level this out a little bit. Oh, we've got a little like encounter again. But we knew we was going to get that. Just turn that throttle way down. Because why not? And we'll see what this can do for us. What? That perry is way too high in my opinion. Let's just have a look at it. Yeah, that's way too high. I reckon if we burn prograde just a little bit that oh can you see those numbers changing I'll zoom in for you but I'm not I'm not using the throttle or anything but that they're just little computing errors there it can't quite work out but I'm just gonna go a little bit closer now just to maximize the old birth effect anywhere above 50 is fine but if you're below 60 I believe Time warping slows down to uh, for the third stage. You, you know, I, I was got three times time warp, but it's more than three times. I think it's about a, a hundred times, or is it ten times? I'm not sure. Um, but it just seems super slow. So I'm just going to plan my retrograde burn here. What, about 600 meters a second is it usually? I'm not 100% honestly. Oh, let's have a say. That looks about fine. Well, nearly 700 meters a second. But that's fine as well. Um, let's F5 again. Because that's always fun. And we're just. Nope, we're not just going to warp. We're going to start off the time warp. Yeah, so three time warps is 10 times speed, two is five times speed. Uh, but if you're in orbit below 60,000, uh, you can only do 10 times speed, but above 60,000 you can do 50 times speed, which makes a hell of a difference. Well, five times the difference. So we're just going to walk to, to Duna's sphere of influence. I always have trouble with that word. It doesn't come naturally to me. Uh, let's speed this up for you as well. There we go. Oh, perfect. A nice little Duna encounter. Can we see it anywhere? Let's point retro. Oh, there it is. Just there. With Ike. Uh, let's do a two. Come on. Let's do a two, please. Oh, I've got the cursor open. The keyboard won't work then. So, two. We can do all these things. And we'll have to do the other mystery goo which is this back one yeah um i know you just watched this but you know i want the science so oh well it's 125 now so 
more science, more better. Big words. Uh, and we'll have to get Bill out again. We, we may as well put him to some use because I don't think he's actually going to be of any use whilst we're here. Because it's, I mean, we could bust some landing gear and maybe he'll be able to fix it, but I don't think he can actually fix anything because he hasn't earned any um, any reputation stars. So I don't think he can actually earn anything as of yet. Zoom out again. Come on, that's too close. Um, point retrograde, press 3 to collect all that science because we did clip a thing in here if I seem to remember let's just have a see, yeah there it is got that with the parachutes and the reaction wheel, oh we've done all the cheats here yes and maybe just speed things up just a little bit and warp to next manoeuvre Maybe we can see it zooming in fast. There we go, look at that. It is a 20 minute burn, really. I didn't turn the engine back up, did I? Uh, thrust limit up to there. It's a 38 second burn. Sorry, the contrast there was terrible. So 19 seconds before and 19 seconds after. Just speed things up just a touch. Not too much. Don't want to overshoot it. Well, there, see. And we'll be able to crash land this all on the surface somewhere. Hopefully, not this top section. <laughs> that wouldn't be very fun. Well, who knows? That's subjective. Some people are into that. Some people juggle geese. It's not a very big burn, especially not with this wolfhound. It's a uh, quite a powerful engine, very fuel efficient as well. We've got a thrust weight of 6.3. So it's bringing that Apo right in. And I think I'm going to want to burn retrograde on the dark side. Uh, sorry, just watching this Perry come in. Yeah, that, I know it's not exactly circular. 73, 77. But it'll be fine, honestly. And we've got 245 meters a second left in this, which is more than enough. But I've. Uh, have I forgotten what the action groups are to close these? And I'll need to know them when it comes time. But for now, we can do. Can we do close to. What's this say? Uh, space near Duna. Near. Near. Yeah, that's fine. And now we can use these to observe. I don't know why. I, d I can't remember if I, I tag these to an action group or not. I'll do them the old fashioned way for now. At least I haven't got to do them all like that. Like that. And get Bill out once more. And should we take him for a little fly? Uh, so let. No, that wasn't let go. Why wasn't that let go? Right, EVA. Come on, EVA. There we go. Let go is X, obviously. Uh, RCS on. Oh, yeah, there we go. I've still got it. And L1 plus square to turn his light on. Just give him a little engine check. There we go, making sure it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. And we've got solar panels on this bad boy as well. That are soon to be burning up in the atmo. Uh, come on. Maybe we should change his colour of his lights because he's orange. But he's an engineer, so engineers by default should be red. I'm saying. We're going to go uh, TOS Star Trek here. Uh, grab that and board. Right, lock to retro. Enough messing around now. We didn't do an EVA report, did we? Oh my goodness. Can't believe that after all that. Still didn't do an EVA report. Uh, just above Duna's lowlands. Great. Board. Press 3 down. There we go. 3 to get all that nice science in. Lock to retro again. 
Give it a nice little F5, and I'm going to warp round to my Perry, I think. Let's warp here. I'll speed it up for you in a second. There we go, we're locked to retro now. But I've just remembered that with these drogue shoots just here, I may have to do this to all of them now. Where are they? Just there. Oh, the minimum pressure is already on one. I must have done this when I fast forwarded time. Because I did it after the last episode. And what are these on? They're on one as well. Yeah, if you turn down the minimum pressure, they'll open sooner. So, uh, yeah, there's always that to do. Let's uh, lower the peri. Well, we're at the peri, but we'll lower. We'll make a new peri that's at about 10,000 ish. It doesn't take much Delta V to do that. Oh, 9,000, and that'll do. And uh, we'll speed up till we start hitting at now, I suppose. Okay then, uh, let's press 4 to close those lamps in. Press 1 to close the solar panels in. Press 2 to get a bit of this science. Because why not? And also, EV. Oh, all hatches are obstructed. Oh, yeah, because I turned those in, didn't I? Let's turn the lights off. I don't know if that's made much of a difference to you. Um, but, you know. Did I do a thing? Yes, I did. Just do some science. But nice to know the hatches are, uh, you know, that. Let's actually move those up there like that. And we shall... Uh, Eject. That was loud. And eject. Perfect. Um, I think also the. Uh, no, we'll, we'll have the engine start before then. But I'm thinking of fast forwarding through this atmosphere a little bit. And then using some Delta V in that stage, maybe to slow down a little bit. Can't hurt really. But we're still speeding up, as you see. So we haven't really come into any thick atmosphere yet. Oh, it's a nice view of Ike. It's not looking good on the old landing sites, I'm going to admit here. It's looking a little bit... Um, oh, what can I say? Low. Yeah, well, we're probably better off with higher. Uh, it does say we've got like 2,700 metres a second in the lander stage but it's untested I don't know if any of you guys have made it to test it out uh, maybe let me know see if it's any good at taking off but eh, I'm, I'm cautious let's say uh, oh, come on this is taking forever did I just turn by accident yeah let's turn this to above ground level shall we because there seems to be like 6,000 meters uh, in height of difference here um, I, because I've said to myself I can't revert whoa that's not good let's start burning because I've said I can't revert that's automatically made it so I'm more nervous uh, let's separate that was probably the wrong time to separate are we going to damage ourselves? no, that's fine we can live with that. But now we've got less reaction wheel power. Um, we've got this. Uh, EC, we've got plenty of EC, that's fine. Uh, we can open the drogue chutes, also fine. I'm feeling confident. Um, pessimistically confident. <laughs> uh, just open those legs there by holding an L1 and tapping square. Frame rate's chucking just a little bit. I can't remember how many parts we've got, but it's uh, it's not that many, I don't think, for this little lander. It's going to physics warp a little bit, because it won't hurt, I don't think, anyway. Uh, but when should I start? Let's just zoom out. Oh, we've got nice little surface features everywhere. Uh, well, I think the surface features. And open the chute, shall we? <laughs> Yeah, there we go. G forces, Bill blacked out. <laughs> G 
Jeb didn't know. He's a two-star man. He knows what things are about. <laughs> now, there we go. Bill's back with us now. He looks a little bit, uh, bit shocked at that turn of events. But, you know, good for him. His first real hygiene manoeuvre. So, we're going to get these crew reports as well. Because, why not? Actually, have we got a crew? Did that have a crew report in there? Oh, explosions. Atmosphere crew report, yeah. More explosions. Wow, yeah. Okay, keep going then. I don't think there's that many parts. Oh, there they are. Yep, yeah, one more. Come on, we've probably got another one coming. Is that? Oh, it's just saying debris. Debris, why did I say debris? <laughs> there we go. No target because it done blew up. Let's turn on the old Delta V thing. We are getting a little bit of frame rate slow down here with uh, with the air effects. So show all. There we go. We've got a TWR 1.56. That should be plenty. And I know we can't see much of the ground, but it looks relatively, um, you know, safe. Doesn't look too slanted or but that could be all over the place time I get there. What parachutes have we oh I see, yeah we had four of them, two of them and four of those. I know I'm not making any sense, but it's exciting, I'm actually excited. Without without the reverts happening, if I fudge this up, that's it. You know. Uh, that means I've got to send a rescue mission at some point, and I don't think I've got any other pilots that are good enough. Well, you know, there's Val, but she's got no stars or anything, so let's just start that engine now, because we don't want to tip. Slow down just a bit. Let's try and go for about five meters a second if we can. It's actually looking quite slanted now. Turn that engine up a bit more. Oh my, we aced it, I'm quick saving, and I'm pressing 4, and I'm pressing 1, and I'm pressing 2, uh, seismic blah 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 blah, and we're pressing, does you work for lights? Yes it does, there we go, uh, press 3, uh, so we've used these ones, we haven't have we? No, we haven't used this one. So, observe. 200 times. Nice. I, I can see a little surface feature just there on the top of that ridge. Um, keep that. And we want to observe this as well. Keep that. And now we're going to press 3. There we go. Because now I can press F5 and there we go. That's made things a little bit easier. Hopefully. Uh, right. Let's have a little look. Who we're getting out? We're going to get Jeb out, obviously. Uh, let's. Well, we don't need to worry about the Delta v, v thing. It'll sort itself out. EVA. Uh, what colours Jeb's lights? Jeb's are blue, which is a science officer, if I believe, but mm, what would Jeb look like with yellow lights? Let's not even uh, let go of that. Oh, don't break that, Jeb. It's expensive. We need it. Oh! Perfect Kerbal landing. Oh, Jeb runs nicely. Nice surface feature over there. Let's do an EVA report. Uh, mm, could we? What? So what was it? Yellow. So would need um, a bit of red and green. So all the blue light would need to be out. If we added more red, yellow for command. There we go. Jeb's the captain of this mission. 
Um, should we, in fact, just use this? But we didn't do an EVA report, I hear you say. Uh, EVA, we are in the Midlands. That's, you know, not one way, not the other, but in the middle. And we are going to take a surface sample. I said, yes, there we go. There, there appear to be traces of water in the soil. So that sentence just threw me then, there appear. Save that and let's get the old RCS out. There we go. It's not too, oh no, 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 don't get the cursor out when you're doing that. Okay, I'm a little bit too used. No, not the space center. Oh. I shall reload it back to Jeb. <laughs> yeah, totally meant to do that. You see, if you if you do that often, I was just trying to show a bit of solid solid. Oh, my goodness, that's an odd word to say. Um, and Gleb Gleb Jeb's glitching. Right, okay, right. We can run. RCS. We're going to turn this on to altitude now. There we go, to above ground level. And see if that's something we can take. What is it though? I'm not even that sure what it is. Come on. Ooh, looks like uh, blueberries, as they're called. Yeah, we can get a nice little surface sample of that. There we go. Ace that land in. i got to zoom in for this. Okay, Jeb, your turn to shine. Let's see what it says. Pick up blueberries. He's got his little pick out. There we go. Small rocks that might look like blueberries don't taste like them. They're almost certain. 240 science. Can't be bad at that. Uh, let's get back to the little lander. Well, not in it just as yet. So we have one more thing to do. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't try and zoom out. Don't try and zoom out when you are RCSing. Especially on Duna. See, so we need to keep some of this fuel, though. Because it seems to be the only way to get back in. Because a madman has made this. And he didn't think of the possibilities. Oh. What's up with Jeb? Why aren't he moving? Jeb wouldn't rotate. Okay. Right. Rotate. There we go. I know we could just walk it now. But I'm not that way inclined. There we go. Where's the sun? Oh, that's not the sun. Where is it? No. There's Ike. Nice picture of Ike. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Okay then, let's plant our flag. Uh flag. Oh, I forgot we had the ESA flag. Let me just type in Midlands. Uh, edit name. Another great thing about a keyboard. Typing in becomes a hell of a lot easier. Have we got? Yeah, we've got a nice little view of Ike there if we wasn't going into the floor. Let's um, try to remember which side of the capsule we're getting in and out of. I think it's this side. Yes, because we put the science experiments there. Okay then. So, try to RCS up there. It's always tough on Duna. Come on, there we go. Board. Beautiful. Okay, end of today's episode. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to like, share, subscribe, maybe leave me a comment, that'd be great. See you next time. Bye-bye.